On Tuesday, April 20, 2022, a letter emerged from the National Conference of Principals of Colleges of Education directed to the Ministry of Education threatening to suspend the feeding of teacher trainees in the about 46 public colleges of education across the country. According to the said statement, the decision is as a result of government's delay in the payment of six-month feeding fee arrears. This decision means that students of the respective schools will be fed twice instead of the three square meals a day beginning April 23. The situation will further exacerbate as trainee teachers shall be fed only lunch from May 1 to May 8, 2022. Teacher trainees in a said statement were also informed that beginning May 8, no student will receive food from the school following the delay in the payment of their feeding fees. Management of the Colleges of Education across the country says they are pressed and can only support the students in the above ways. We have to use IGS. In fact, even what is given to us, we have to use IGS to, to top up. And so the IGS is not there. And then we also do not want to disrupt the academic calendar because the calendar is so tight that even if you lose a day, it's going to seriously affect everything. So as much as possible, we want to... Uh, maintain what we have now and ensure that uh, the students stay in school. And so we're asking that for um, for one week from April 23 to April 30, we would, we would give the students uh, two uh, meals a day, breakfast and dinner. And then after 10 years, we would give them just uh, uh, lunch for another one week, uh, up to 8th of uh, May. If after 8th May we still haven't received anything, then uh, we would ask the students to feed themselves. And uh, once we ask them to feed themselves, and the understanding would be that as soon as government pays, we would uh, refund to them, that is to the students. But what will be the repercussions of the decision taken by Prinkoff on the teacher trainings? The president of the Teacher Trainee Association of Ghana tells City News that the situation will adversely affect students. Our position as students is that we are not in support of the decision by Brinkoff to, to feed the student twice, feed them once, and then the student will have to feed themselves for the rest of the days that they will stay on campus. We are not in support of that. You know, the, the principals are out with this decision because of the fact that they have not been given feeding component. And then the feeding component comes with allowance. When allowances are paid, the feeding component is also paid and then be given to the principal. So if, if you are asking the student to go and feed themselves, where would they get the money from? So our position is that government should do everything possible to make sure that the issues are solved within the shortest possible time. Because we, we can't allow this to happen. You are sending over 20,000 students to the various campuses with, on an empty stomach. They will go there and get stopped. And don't forget that a hungry man is an angry man. In a swift reaction, the Ministry of Education has disclosed that financial clearance has been given for the release of over 67 million Ghana cities for the payment of the six-month feeding fee arrears. I'm very happy today to inform you that government has released 67,942,652 cities. Uh, to colleges of education. I know you may have um, read the media reports. There were many calls on us uh, to respond to concerns of Prankoff and wanted to take advantage of um, your presence here to let the country know uh, that the President of the Republic, the Finance Minister, and all those who have worked hard to ensure that various promises made to colleges of education are carried through has one as again are uh, delivered on their promise and that is why this amount has been released to colleges of education. So the Ministry of Education has indicated that over 67 million Ghana cities have been released to the various colleges of education across the country and this is to pay the arrears of the feeding fee for the, these particular schools and the yeah, others hopeful that um, it will also aid in the administration of the various schools across the country. Reporting from the Ministry of Education here in Accra, my name is Kweku Adiyamansa.